gonna try to catch me going into the uh, back to that entrance there. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Fly right here. It is uh, absolutely beautiful out. It's like 58 degrees. Uh, my uh, my um, my display here is reading 63. Weather app is saying about 58. And uh, on this ride, we're gonna go out and test the new Mavic 3. And I'm gonna show you, if you have a drone like this, how you can set it up to fly autonomously and uh, capture some pretty epic shots of either destinations or if you're using it like me to do uh, fly and ride missions, uh, it's a great way when you're by yourself uh, to capture some footage of you riding your bike. So uh, join me as I take you on this uh, quick short ride and then show you all the steps that I use uh, to uh, set up these flights autonomously. If you are new to the channel, I'm Flying Rod, and on this channel I focus on motor blogs, ride videos, ride reviews, all on my 2022 BMW R1250GS that you see right here, and on my 2020 Street Glide CVO that I typically or mostly feature on the channel. I also feature cinematic drone footage like you're about to see here on this, uh, on this video uh, with my now new DJI Mavic 3 drone. And uh, we do destination rides, uh, group rides. Uh, we do product upgrades, product reviews. We do instructional videos like this one, all here on the FNR channel. So do me a favor. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you can be reminded of future content like this one. I've got my, uh, I've got Fly and Ride Junior with me, uh, the younger Junior with me. Uh, riding Pillion today and uh, it is uh, New Year's Eve Eve you're probably watching this video some point in 2023 so uh, happy new year to everyone and uh, it was just beautiful out so I thought I'd get out of here and just kind of do one of these videos showing you the showing you these uh, capabilities that one of these drones has which I think is pretty uh, pretty awesome so there's a straightaway up here and uh, we're gonna pull off, there's some off-road there, hard packed, nothing major. We're gonna pull in there and then I'm gonna start to show you, I'm gonna switch over to my, uh, to my drone remote. And then uh, I'm gonna show you literally directly on the screen of the, of the drone, the steps that I'm following to set up this autonomous flight. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like after I set the flight path and I take the bike for a ride on the path. So you can see uh, how functional this is. And again, hopefully it helps you if you're considering, uh, you know, getting a drone, if you have a drone and you wanna get creative. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is where we're gonna record the test flight. Pull in here. I'm gonna get uh, settled here, and then I'm gonna come back to you when I start showing you the uh, the screen on the drone. Uh, again, if you're not interested in this type of uh, tutorial uh, for the drone, just skip to the uh, later on in the video where you're actually gonna see some awesome drone footage, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some different uh, angles of the drone flying itself while I'm riding the bike. Let's go there now. All right, so what you're seeing right now. Uh, my actual screen of my remote i am recording on my remote and uh, narrating obviously through an external mic and uh, essentially what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to set up uh, waypoints and what waypoints basically does is it locks the aircraft's location in the air the position of the camera the speed just about you know everything the angle the altitude and it automatically records it and then after you set all these waypoints, and I'm going to show you that here in a second, you can just set the aircraft to follow that same path autonomously. Uh, so you don't have to use the remote, and literally it creates super, super smooth flights that you're going to see here in a minute, and that's what I'm about to demonstrate here. The reason why I think this is advantageous is, look, typically I ride on my own, and you know the, the, the follow me function on these drones is good, but it's just not great yet. The technology, I think, still has a bit to go. This allows me to go to a certain location like this one 
preset this pattern, and then once you preset it and save it, it, literally every time you come back to this area, you load it, you hit go, and the aircraft will follow exactly the same GPS coordinates to each of those waypoints, which I think is pretty awesome. And it'll allow you to give you, and, and again, it'll give you some flexibility in some of these shots. Uh, so this is where I want to capture the first waypoint. And then uh, to do that, you just click this button that I just clicked there, it just turned yellow. And then what you do is, you just hit the C1 button just to, I want this height so that you can tell I added one waypoint already. I'm going to back up the drone here. There's a bunch of geese here that I'm going to show you here in a minute with the drone and they're like walking away from us. All right, so we're going to back it up a little bit more here. I'm going to set that. I'm just following the path right now that I want the drone to fly. So that way when I'm riding it, it captures it. All right, we're going to go, uh, the drone is ready to go. I got my pillion with me, helping me out here. You can see the drone right there. All right, so I had to redo it again because I wasn't recording. Now I am. What's going on? He's doing about 14, 15 miles an hour. I think it's pretty cool. Gives you all of this functionality here. He's backing up now and he should be starting to follow me here. And now it's following me. You can see it's coming around here. It's gonna try to catch me going into the, uh, back to that entrance there. There you have it. How cool is that? Flying Ride Junior's got the controls. Ghost Rider is right there. And we're gonna wrap up this uh, quick video here for you. So look, there you have it. Give you a nice shot of Ghost Rider. Nice quick tutorial. If you have one of these drones, gives you the option to really just uh, expand a lot of the shots that you're able to do when you're actually out on your own. Uh, we're gonna wrap this video up. We're gonna enjoy this beautiful, beautiful weather that uh, we're getting here in New Jersey just before New Year comes. Uh, again, you're watching this video after New Year, so I hope you and your loved ones had a great uh, New Year. Wishing you uh, all the best in this 2023. Lots of health, lots of happiness, and of course, lots of riding if you're on two wheels. Do me a favor, if you're liking this kind of content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell notification so you can be reminded of future content like this one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>